That's what I like about Harry as well, is he's pathetic at, at the whole romance thing. He's rubbish, which is great because he's sort of... He's a hero who's absolute... He's he's no good with girls, he's no good with dating, he doesn't know how to be around girls, he doesn't, which is great because he's a character for anyone out there who's ever been awkward with a girl in this film, which is probably every male anywhere in the world. <laughs> This year, for Hermione, I think she's just, more than anything else, on edge for so much of the film because she's, I think she's a, a, more of a mother figure towards Harry and she just spends most of her time worrying about him. Um, so yeah, this film, this film is the worrying Hermione. Um, what else happens? She, the, the Yule Ball sequence should be good fun. Um, she, uh, she kind of has a boyfriend in this one, which is, for Ron and Harry, is a bit of a shock, really. Especially for Ron, who, um, who, you know, who's only just realised that she's a girl. It's hovering, it looks down, it opens its mouth and flames! That's one of the reasons why he gets a bit angry, is because he thinks that, um, like, Harry's always, like, the hero and that, and he put his self forward just to, like, uh, so, yeah, he's a bit annoyed, uh, but in the end it's quite cool because he gets this tournament, it's wicked, it's like uh, really sort of dangerous and, and exciting, so, um, yeah, so in the end he sort of likes it, so. Fire! Moment yourself, room's coming back in, and jump! Got it. Camera's car. 